how to connect Clavio to Shopify. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this super quick and easy tutorial. So if this video has helped you out, please let me know in the comments or simply just leave a like so I actually know that this video has helped you out. So uh, let's just get started because it's actually super easy. What I am going to do is, first of all, I'm going to be on Clavio.com in the dashboard. I also want to simply have my store open over here. What I'm going to do is go to um, Clavio. And I'm going to click on my profile in the bottom left corner and then to integrations. Over here, we need to click on the add integrations part or button in the top right corner. And by this way, we can add an integration. So here you can see a bunch of integrations and a lot of different platforms as well. What you simply just want to do is search for Shopify. Here you will already get Shopify and um, I have clicked on it. And here we can see the connection details. So here we need to add the store URL. This will not just be your domain name of your website. This is pretty much your, like, I'd say your private uh, URL or domain. Um, and you can find that by going to your dashboard or admin in Shopify. And it's the one here all the way at the end. So this is pretty much your very, very first URL which you create when you first create your Shopify store. Uh, later on, usually people change this to a different domain or whatever. But this is just your very, very first URL pretty much. You want to copy that one and then paste it over here. And then simply add myshopify.com. Once you've done that, this is pretty much your store URL. We have now done this, so super easy. Here we need to go to the bottom and we can see sync data from Shopify. So we can see select a list. We need to select something. So here we have a bunch of lists. Now you need the one, uh, you need to select the one which you actually use. So I'm just gonna select email list, for example, and then um, I'm gonna go down. Now here you want to make sure, first of all, that this is enabled. All profiles should be enabled as well as pretty much everything should be ticked on or enabled, which you can enable. For example, this one is grayed out, so I cannot change anything like that. But this one, these ones, you should just all enable them. Then you can just double check everything. But um, yeah, I'm going to click on connect to Shopify. Then this will bring us over to Shopify. And we need to install their app. So I'm going to click on install over here. This is just a super easy process. Then we need to confirm the new integration uh, with your website, which you can see over here. Simply click on integrate. And now we have integrated our um, Clavio account to your Shopify store. So here you can see the same settings which we just saw. But there's one really important thing which we need to do is here we need to go to on-site tracking. So here you can see, oh, it already... Uh, it, now it actually has completely updated. Sorry, guys. Uh, you actually have to wait a couple of seconds. And now we can get, get back to what I was just explaining. So here you can see the Clavio app embed is not enabled. So we need to enable this. You can do that by simply clicking on here. And this will bring you over to the um, website editor or website builder. And here you can see app embeds. And it will automatically enable it here for you. Just to double check, you can just disable it and then enable it again and then click on save. And now we have actually em uh, enabled this. So now we can go back to Clavio. We can see over here as well that it is now green enabled. And then um, we can um, here double check everything. And then simply click on update settings because we have now completely enabled this. So I'm going to click on update integration. Over here, we can see integration updated. And now we can see that the Clavio app embed is enabled on my Shopify store, which is exactly what we want, of course. If you need Shopify, but you're not sure yet, or you're already enjoying Shopify, or you know somebody that needs Shopify, what you can do is bring your ideas to life for one euro per month. So what you can do is go to the link in the description or the pinned comment under this YouTube video and sign up for a free trial and enjoy your first month for one euro. So 
grab the deal now before it is gone and yeah good luck with your store now if you go to your home page there's actually one last setting which we can do which is actually extremely helpful for you as well to get more subscriptions to your email list and that is by changing one simple important setting so in order to change that setting what you want to do is go to audience over here here we can see lists and segments and once you are here in the uh, list and segments you can see a bunch of different segments and uh, lists as well now you want to go to your email list at least that is the list for me this is also uh, this also has a yellow star because this is the one which i connected with shopify now if i click on this um this is your email list actually so here we have a bunch of stuff we can change what you want to do is go to the settings and then here we can see consent um that's where you want to click on and here we can see the opt-in process so here we can see the double opt-in which they will say is recommended so requires new subscribers to confirm their subscription before being added to the list now a single opt-in is that the person is immediately subscribed to the list without a confirmation so back in the day you always had to um confirm yourself if you wanted to subscribe to their newsletter but nowadays most big platforms and websites simply just add you immediately on the newsletter and you have to mainly um, unsubscribe yourself now that is um, extremely useful for you if you have the single opt-in because you just get so much or so much more people to subscribe to your newsletter so this is actually extremely important um, if you would like that if you don't like that simply just keep it on the double opt-in but this is what i have set it to right now now that you're done there is a couple of things to double check if everything is connected or integrated uh, successfully and that is if you go to your dashboard and then here go to integrations again we can now see shopify and we can always see that the status should be enabled if you click on here as well we can also see that the status is enabled this is also green and for the sync settings we need to make sure that everything is enabled and by that way you know that everything should be working correctly as well as if you go to your shopify website and then go to apps you can also see the clavio marketing app and if you click on it this will bring you over to your account as well again this url should be the same as this as well so everything should be fine so that is how to connect clavio to shopify